Uh, thank you, Chair. The Bangladesh aligns with the statement delivered on behalf of majority of Asia-Pacific group countries and the statement of YC. We'd like to thank the office for the document presented on this agenda item. Bangladesh would like to express its profound concerns over 66% loss of jobs with 85% reduction of employment in Gaza Strip as well as 40% loss of employment in West Bank. The illegal war against the civilian and non-combatant population of Palestine has caused shrinking of the Palestine economy by one-third in the fourth quarter of 2023. Labor market governance institutions, labor administration, social protection, social dialogue got irreparably affected and downturned. We thank the donors and partner countries who have contributed to the ILS Development Cooperation Program. My delegation from Bangladesh also expressed its sincere appreciation to the office for conducting our three-phase program with priorities in relief, review, and recovery. We'd like to join our voices to enhance the donor support for successful implementation of the program. We'd like to highlight the over overwhelming necessity of employment-intensive infrastructure building and arranging suitable jobs for the family members of the murdered Palestinians and disabled persons. Bangladesh, like most of other states, continue to recognize Palestine as a state in the fullest meaning of the term and identifies Israel as the illegal occupying power of Palestine. Bangladesh expresses its grave concerns in the genocidal attack on unarmed civilians, including women and children of Palestine by the occupying Israeli armed forces, as well as targeting of civilian infrastructure and indiscriminate use of force. We condemn Israel for its blatant violations of international humanitarian and human rights laws. To conclude, Bangladesh condemns Israeli efforts to deport people out of Gaza and demands immediate ceasefire and full and unhindered access to humanitarian assistance. Full implementation of three R's, relief, review and recovery, can only be possible with an end of genocidal attack on innocent civilians and infrastructures. Bangladesh would like to urge the international community to intensify pressure on the occupied power, Israel and its apartheid government to stop this violent attack on civilians, to allow Palestinians to rebuild their economy with international support, and to allow Palestinian workforce to resume employment. With these comments, Bangladesh supports the YC amendment. I thank you, Chair. Joy Bangladesh.